This is my review on my least favorite Mission Impossible movie, Ghost Protocol. So after a mission goes wrong, the team must go rogue. And they must, and he's after, and this is after Ethan decides to accept his mission and accept that his team will be rogue for now on throughout the film until the ring until the clean their names and uh which is by they just all accomplished clean their names by the third act while well, the cops uh this cop these two cops uh, uh after Ethan Hunt and his team to bring them them in custody. It's basically action scene fall by explain the plan fall by action scene fall by explain the plan Rinse, recycle, and repeat. Lots of cool action scenes in this uh, film. Faggy and Benton, I, especially the one when uh, um, Ethan is climbing the building. But good action scenes don't always make a greatest, and doesn't always make the greatest movie ever, in my opinion. It takes more than that, especially when it's Mission Impossible. So this and um, MI2 are my two least favorite Mission Impossible movies. This one I like a little less than MI2. Um, and yeah, um, that's as much as the story it goes. No twists or turns, no flesh mask. Mm. No, um, what's the word, uh, by espionage thriller tone? What? I'm talking to you. I know. Espionage? Is, is that the word? Yes. Spy espionage tone? Yes. No spy espionage tone, just good old fashioned dumb mindless action. It is a very fun flick. It's probably the closest we got to Tom Cruise the movie feeding Tom. This really, really, this one is not about the team. It's about feeding Tom Cruise ego more than ever in the name of them. Why do you like a hybrid? She just wanted to shut me and make me so ill. Jake, coming in. I don't know. I don't know. You want to do whatever you want to do, buddy. Okay? Anyway, I'm watching the third Mission Possible film, my favorite. I just. Look, I just want Mission Possible to go back to the roots, not from the films. Not what made the films great. But what made the TV show great and use that to the advantage and make that expand on that lore, expand on that in film history, like Mission Impossible 3. I mean, we came close, we got Fallout, which came close, but not close enough. So, yeah. Do I recommend this film or do I not recommend watching this film? Honestly, I recommend this film. It's a fun, dumb film to watch. If you don't think hot on, as it makes sense, it, it makes it's a brilliant film. If you don't think highly on it, because you, you do think hot on it, it, you realize it's a really stupid film. So. Just watch it, and I recommend watching it. Just don't think too much on it. But unless you're going to post a, make a YouTube show, then do think highly on it. You can still like it, but uh, just do what I did, basically. But do your own thing, Miss Goya. So yeah, I recommend I give it a thumbs up. It is fun to watch. Um. It's not my favorite, and it's 
actually my least favorite Mission Impossible film and anything to do with the franchise. So yeah, that's my thoughts.